Now when graphing or finding the foci of an ellipse, what you need is two things. One, it's always crucial to have the center. The center of this function is 2, negative 1. And the next thing you need is you need a value that's called C. Now the way you find C is you use this formula right here, a squared minus b squared equals c squared. Now in class we talk about how you find a, b to get c. Well, this is very important that you study these. So if you're watching this video and you're not my student, what you're going to do is you're going to say, how do I find an a value for, again, in an ellipse? Now I, I, I emphasize this because I'm going to have another video on hyperbolas and it's a different way, a different way to find a. So study the differences. a is always the square root of the biggest denominator. So 3 is a. b happens to always be the square root of the smallest denominator. Square root of 1 is 1. So to use this formula, you're going to say 3 squared minus 1 squared equals c squared, which is 9 minus 1 which is 8 equals c squared. But again, I'm asking for what's called a c value. That's more important. c equals radical 8. Now, this c value, to find the foci, what you're going to do is you need to add this to your center. So this has to be added to your center, and it has to be subtracted from your center. But the key idea is you have a center. You have a 2, you have a negative 1 which value does this get added to? And so there's a new concept that has to be studied. The concept is, well, when graphing this ellipse, which way has the longest stretch? Now, in my other videos, I teach you how to graph ellipses, and you can clearly see that x is going to be stretched 3 to the left and 3 to the right, where y is going to be stretched 1 up and 1 down. So you're going to be adding it to your x value because it stretches more on the x. Now, before you add these, making this an easier graphing problem for you, I would write c as an equivalency. Now, I have another video that teaches you how to estimate graphs with ellipses. So 8, radical 8, is like 2.8. 8 or something like that, 2.9. Again, I don't have a calculator. You can just do that by uh, knowing it's smaller than the square root of 9 but bigger than the square root of 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this center of mine. So get a little bit of scratch work over here. I have 2 comma negative 1 as my center. I need to add 2.8 here, which is going to give me the values... 4.8 comma negative 1 and then I'm going to subtract 2.8 to get another coordinate so I'll move this over a little more to get another coordinate and that coordinate is going to be negative 0 0.8 comma 1 these are your foci and when you graph these on a piece of paper these will be estimations but that's as simple as it is it's, it's actually kind of like sixth grade math. They teach you all of this, how to do this in sixth grade. So um, you just need to understand the theories behind ellipses.